It is time to let the hair down. Okay. I'm tired of, I actually, I'm just not interested in arguing. I'm not, I'm not interested in fighting. Um, also, I'm not interested in, you know, being a dead fish. <laughs> so just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Um, I had the <laughs> pleasure of interacting with um, some family uh, with regards to a situation that should not have gotten to escalated to um, such craze. <laughs> But it tells me, number one, angels of light and love, I welcome you in to direct and protect these messages. My chakras, my auras, my space, my work, my healthness, my healthness, my health and wellness, my essence, and that of my children's. Thanks so very much. You're awesome. So, um, yeah, it just tells me that um, I... <laughs> 20% battery. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 20% battery. Um, I um, have just my reserves to work on right now. In fact, financially, that's been the case. Um, I am trying not to um, be angry with the world when there are certain figures in my life that can't even hear me. Just like the first line, just like the first minute. <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm strong. <laughs> the world is telling me I'm stronger than my um, little slice of an exper experiment experience, for sure. So, <laughs> I wasn't asking for anything except just i just had a couple of simple questions i just had a couple of simple questions and just some facts laid out and it's funny how history kind of repeats itself within its um same states of um challenges and it's like did I just not, oh, didn't I overcome this a while ago? Didn't we get past this? And you're still not listening. There, I told you, just like the, just the, the three highlights that I have to work with. So I need to get this complex stuff out of the way so I can start my new journey off well. But, you know, life has its uh, own way of uh, showing you, <laughs> like complimenting you. <laughs> and so I, I'm just going to go at it with grace. And, but that also means I am going to draw the line on what knowing what my threshold is and knowing who can um, uh, be allowed beyond that point you know so that's where we're at right now fantastic still all right so it's a good thing that i let loose the other assignment the other you know part-time thing because uh, uh, it is i don't know why it's such a huge shocker when we experience things like it's not that I was expecting more. I was just, <laughs> I was expecting the decency of just human interaction on a f familial level. Like, not not just like, I hear you, Tina. I wasn't even expecting to go that far. I just wanted some, I just wanted these people to listen. Just listen. <laughs> just technically hear me. Not just like, like more, 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 and then my piece. No, I'm, I'm, tr I'm making a gesture to communicate with you, and 
you re the <laughs> you refuse to listen to me. Your sentience shows me you refuse to listen to me. So I want to ask the big why. And even <laughs> this is all pertaining to the legal stuff. I want to ask the even bigger how. I want to know. How am I going to do this? Knowing that just on a private level, it's like, why bother talking to someone when they have the, well, at least part, a part of them, <laughs> portion of them has the intention not to listen to you. <laughs> they believe in you that much, Tina. So, we're reminding ourselves of our power here. We're going to go with the Tarot of the Holy Spirit, or Tarot of the Spirit. Still holy, for sure. Not holy like worn with, like, socks, you know. <sighs> Why is it that we are experiencing things that are just, like, this is old news. I thought better of you. I thought decency of you, that you we would be able to reciprocate and exchange information, not just like, I don't understand what is happening in all of that, okay? I think fear plays a huge part in the ability to not listen. So I just got a voicemail that took how long to, uh, it, yeah, at least seven minutes. So, like, I, I see where the patterns go, and I see why um, I ended up naturally locking into a 20-some-odd-year relationship with someone that... Um, didn't see clearly what my value was and that would just talk at me just talk at me and um you know things accentuate within our personal lives um you know supposedly growing up <laughs> so um doesn't necessarily mean maturation um it just means like an accentuation of certain areas of our lives that we um I wouldn't want to say grown comfortable with, but uh, um, that are normal to us. So anyway, we have the brother of water and the two of water, sacred cord. Okay. So this is the knight of cups and the two of cups. This is um, my support crew coming in. Um, you know what? They <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hearing the facts of life. Okay, so my um, kin are showing me, hey, honey, those are the facts of life. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them all, and there you have the facts of life, okay? <laughs> That's the truth of it. <laughs> um, but this is showing union. This is showing kinship. And it's like, Tina, we all go through this. And I'm like, I know, and it sucks. <laughs> it's, you know... <laughs> Um, but, you know, it's like, I get ya. It's, it's, just, just focus on the purpose of our, us being here and that we want to be here and that we do want to hear you out and are actively listening. <laughs> We're connected. Like, I get you. It's just true. So I think the why is, um, um, Spirit is asking that we reposition the why. It's like, why me? Good grief, you know. To put, reposition that to why we have great 
friends around, why we have people who, like, are not afraid of um, facing certain things to the point where, you know, when somebody, like, somebody, these people would not, um, I don't even want to top pluralize it, but these energies, okay, because they don't go by, like, a single name, and they don't go completely in all sum. So, um, because I, I know one, how do I say it? Okay, so let's just leave it like that, okay? Because, like, even in the grouping of my previous jobs, like, I know it's not, like, all, the whole thing. It's this, that, and, but then other people were, like, okay, you know? And so, how do I say it? In respect of other people's journeys and their um, elements of fear, how they address them, they may, um, you know, um, be very offended that we um, even introduce that verbiage into their system because it's like, no, I'm trying to address it. And it's like the way you're addressing it shows that there is fear involved. Okay, that's the bottom line. So um, when you look at those things, it's like, okay. Um, when you're so wrapped up, in getting to this place or to that place and how you do it and you lose track of the sentience that is right in front of you that you lose um interest in the importance of what's right in front of you and this goes for like love relationships like seeking this and that um if you lose track of like the importance of what's right in front of you to the point where you're not going to listen oh god another voicemail what Okay, okay, wipe that away. Then, uh, that's a different kind of love language is all I gotta say, <laughs> okay? Okay, so um, what, okay, so that's good. That's a good why, all right? Anything else you gotta say about that spirit? Okay, mother of wind, um, queen of swords, okay? It's about being decisive um, it's still being um, intuitive, um, uh, mentally um, capable of discerning what to, um, what to cut through, what to dissect. Um, yeah, that's, that's where we go here. Um, so this is um, the receptivity of truth, okay? This is the um, live action role play version of the um, high priestess, okay? So, um, spirit commends us for um, being on top of it, basically, knowing that we have to go through the process, because this is like Aladdin and the genie kind of thing, but this is like in the hourglass of infinite, like eight, <laughs> you know, of infinite um, hourglass. So it's like, we know that being on top of it, okay, we have to go through the process, but it's like a little bit of a siphon, you're like, ah, oh, you know, and that's time well spent here, because we went through it. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, anything else, Spirit, before we ask the big how, okay? The big why, and even the bigger how, okay? This. The Flood, which is the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Brother of Fire in reverse, okay? Okay, so this is, um, again, the obvious answer mm -hmm, is to... There's a lot of tasks involved in all of this. So um, we're not going to be upset over this discovery, okay, on intimate quarters, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to address like, hey, I had some things that I needed to really face. And I um, was um, brave enough to pick up the phone and address it like, um, uh, just headstrong, just getting at it. But then when you're working out, let's say like this were a business deal and um, 
and you realize that the other person, the other side doesn't, um, it, it's more than when you realize that it's not about clarification that needs to be provided by our side, but a clarification on their part that they, um, um, how do I say it? When you realize when you're working with a party that, um, or even a fraction of the party that is, um, not, um, that doesn't respect you as another sentience. And you, I, I, I don't want to be repetitive here, but that's basically what it's saying. Like, I'm not going to get upset over this personal discovery. I, I know what I had to do. It was an obvious thing uh, about execution as far as figuring the things that, that are remaining on the list. So that's valid. Okay. The why isn't as important as, or no, the why is repositioned to why did you need to get this thing done? That that's it's it's you're doing practical magic, Tina. Um, that's it. So don't get upset or um, ruffled about with anyone else's responses, and don't take offense to other people, um, whoever they are, um, um, when they disrespect you. Um, when they don't realize your worth. And I think that was the most important thing as far as that closure letter. Um, like, I, I, it was done respectfully and, um, yeah, um, like, there was no hate in it. It was just all, like, facts, basic facts. Uh-oh, 10% battery here. All right. Okay. We're getting things done. That's the most important thing um, when we're working on our reserves. Okay. So. Um, many tongues. Seven of swords in reverse. So no BS. No more. No more. In fact, the room is cleared out right now. So um, this is um, intense isolation. It's intended uh, for us to be able to focus on what really needs to happen all right okay the how is what i'm thinking about oh the segue to closing out cycles just being done with certain elements like sometimes you got to call it a day and um it's not always about cutting your losses it's just um okay so i know that there's going to be you know another chapter you know, leaning into. So, um, if we can, it's just about being positive with the experience. Like you're going to like, pfft, things are going to get a little rugged sometimes and things, um, you, like, I just know I don't control anybody. I don't, I just have me to figure out. Okay. Everybody else got to claim their own. And so, um, we just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. So that's how we're going to get to it. <laughs> that's the even bigger how is the reassurance, <laughs> self reassurance that within those like constant cycles that we talked about, the infinity, it's just like a bunch of infinity loops linked. Let me show you. Let me show you. Um, um, you see? It's just a bunch of those, like, all linked up. Like, we're just, you know, it's the world card. Do, 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 About the truth, like, of what needs to be done, you know? Um, so, we're just going to get through it. That's, that's, it's just a matter of fact. We have ourselves to, like, commingle with <laughs> the many elements of ourselves. Um, and... I don't know. The big how is already simplified here. Um, the even bigger how. Well, what do you want to say about that spirit? Ooh, I feel it again. Someone trying to... But it's gone. Two of Earth, two of Pentacles, cause and effect. That, you know, it was also 
um, going to play a part in someone else's journey trying to, you know, get at me. Because the, the funny thing is, <laughs> I just, I'm just told right now, is that um, being that I have become so strong, the fact that I can feel it, even just a smidgen, tells me how much, um, how are we, how are we going to say that? Um, how much, um, energies are attempting to work against us. And I'm not talking about these particular parties. I'm talking about like off in the macrocosm, you know, the local macrocosm. Uh, so I'm not really supposed to pay attention to that. Like I'm just, so anyway, things are, um, balancing out cause and effect. So, um, I think I'm just supposed to receive notice of it so that it like reverberates back onto them. I think that that's just the cause and effect that they, um, so like this is all protected. You see, it's like Captain America, like as above, so below. So that's um, the element of justice and it's securing happiness for sure. Like kapow, kapow um, on the horizon. You see how that, those are clouds basically, you know? Event Horizon is what I'm hearing. I don't remember what that movie is about. Um, but the how is already taking care of itself. I, that's interesting. Okay. Anything else before I close out this reading? Boop, 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 boop. Father of Swords. Um, the King of Swords in reverse. So this is um, a truth bender. Someone who is going to, uh, like, uh, actually, let me see. Let me get context to that first. But I'm supposed to go with my gut on that, so. Oh my goodness. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Um, seven of Pentacles inverted. Strength inverted. So we got Master number 77. And then these three cards. Nine of Pentacles inverted. The Zenith. Three of Cups inverted. And nine of Swords extraverted. Um... So there's that in the background, singularly speaking. But when we're um, seeking to be more involved with our characters and um, the element of alchemization, um, we're, we're looking for, um, again, this is about being positive about our situation, okay? Um, because there are plenty of people who are um, sick, like who, ha who are really, you know, dealing with some, like, really awful things um and are are bound to you know a life of hospitalization um so we're going to look positively on our events while we have our mobility um and making the most out of it so the very base level here is um looking at this knowing that we had the queen of um swords prefix the king of swords is coming up to fruition this is still a highly abundant card making its way forward like what are we going to do with all these truths um and they're just saying to keep on digging because um what you're going to strike is your wheel of fortune your favor you have master number 77 that appears um so it's like one two three the way it was laid out um uh, after that so it's like one and then two and then three that whole thing so um there's a natural um evolution um and development that that brings that forward that mindset so um a lot of this stuff is inverted um it's about investing in um what will make you stronger and even if um we're like tangibly going through some things um that are that feel unfavorable um there's something about like a gestation period where um we're invested in um our personal growth that's what they're saying okay so um it's going to lead to stability like nothing can shake us mm -hmm. Um, nothing can quake us. We have the queen. I'm sorry. I heard 
queen, okay. Um, three of um, cups, um, well celebrated. And they're saying we cannot stress that enough. Like, this is this is solid gold. This is so good. Um, and not, and when you're like stable in your stuff, in, in the element of celebration, the, the element of gratitude, even for these experiences where you realize like, other people need to do their work, but you can't do it for them. But you also need to draw the line. Um, it's not like talking poorly on anyone else, but just like it is saddening. And we can't we can't just like everything's like all this or all that. It it is saddening and it, it, it is disheartening, I have to admit. Um and so um I need some breathing room, yeah. Um, but they cannot stress that enough. It's accentuated on the outskirts. Um, yeah, but we have a lot going for us. And just to, like, we're going to keep that in view. I feel like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're going to keep that, like, at the forefront, at the basis, at the roots, wherever we need it. Um, yeah, someone's trying to come in, really. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're not like I'm that strong. I could feel it like rumbling in my tummy. Like I could feel like like um what do you call it? Like gas. Like um you know when people burp or whatever. We know that there's like magic or whatever. But it's like deep down, like closer to my sacral and like root chakra. I could feel like bloatedness. Like um what do you call it? Um 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 <laughs> like gas or something. And. And, like, I know that there's other energies trying to come through, but it's like, I'm the bouncer, I'm, I'm the gatekeeper, and you're like, no, it doesn't face me, you're not going to penetrate my being, um, I have power over myself, not you, even in the ethers, like, they're irrelevant, every time that there's an introduction of that persistence, um, within um, being very disrespectful to um, our sentience, anytime they're just not going to get to us. They're proving themselves as ineffective um, on that level. So I know that some are going to be very offended by what I'm saying, but I, I just know with my previous, um, with previous sentience that I've experienced in all ranges, um, that it it's it still remains the same messaging king of pentacles in reverse um ace of swords okay yeah so there's something um like it's being impregnated by like such abundance but also others trying to like business people also that are um trying to like these are, these are not right, you know, but, um, we have a mix of people here. So, um, no, it's, it's invalid. They like, what do you call it? When you blacklist someone, that's, that's what's happening here. When anytime that that comes down onto me and my crew deeming themselves invalid, no, especially the rep repetition. Um, it's like, what is it? Three strikes and you're out kind of rule. There's something in that within the ethers with my divine team that has been generated. Like a law. <laughs> um, queen of um, wands in reverse. Gosh, there's a lot of like... Okay, so whatever. You know, um, I am told to use my magic as... You know, I can stand apart from the situation, use my magic within that. But you know what? I'm going to choose to like actively work upright, you know, like I'm going to withdraw my stuff and I'm going to reinvest it in the deck. So we're going to split it <laughs> to what? Five of swords in reverse. So there's no one upping here. I just know my power and I'm going to withdraw it and I'm going to take it back. That's it. New top of the deck is six of wands. <laughs> that's amazing let me tell you right up front that's a reward that is success that is victory that is um glory <laughs> can you can you even dude okay i'm gonna cut the deck one more time final words the hierophant so there's whatever way i'm called to do things that's that's legit okay um 
it's also about dissolution right there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what's, what's that? Five of Pentacles in reverse, so no lacking within... Um, and this is a absolute awareness, the Hermit in reverse. It's um, going through the thick of it and just knowing you, you got to do it however you're supposed to do it, Tina. Um, yeah, like normally like my, I would read into like the judge. I would read into this, especially so close. Maybe I'll have another reading like that. I don't know, but I'm called not to do it right now. I think it would actually scare some people if I did that. Um, and we're not trying to make people work in fear here. So I think there's some breathing room allowed here. And if called to, then I can do it, but I'm, I'm told like not to engage in it. It's not like you mustn't do it. It's just like, mm, no, it doesn't interest me into like, after all that we've talked about, no. Ooh, I feel someone really trying to get like penetrate me. Like, I don't. Wow, who the, I have control over me. Oh my gosh, holy smokes, it went away. <laughs> Whoa, that, whoever that was, they were um, powerful, but not as powerful as I. That was, that was weird. So, um, you know, we give, like, <sighs> I'm, I'm serving my purpose here because um, uh, my divine team is, like spirit is taking the scorecard and actively protecting it. Like the receipts are, are live. And, um, what do you want to say? Cause like, it was such a drastic thing that I was feeling. That was in insane. Uh, karma, justice is coming. Justice is coming. I'm pulling the receipts for sure. Okay. I think that's it for now. So, um, now that this reading is officially over, let me go ahead and just plug this in because I know we're on, working on like 2% battery here. So, give me a second. Um, now that this reading is officially over, I thank all my sponsors, all my supporters of Divine Light and Love. It's appreciated. <laughs> I'm just going to say it like that. Um, so, um, upon closing these portals in this time this energy reading i sent all energies back with their appropriate karmas due assisting with its accentuating force mm -hmm. whether they tapped in for a moment mm -hmm. a second five seconds half a second 30 minutes whatever <sighs> assist with that rollout sequence of rollouts. Enlighten love. I close these portals. <laughs> 